hello, this is Yasu, and today I'm gonna be briefly talking about, um, I guess, if you should draw fan art or not, um, as I'm drawing this lovely 2B picture from Near Automata. Um, I scoot it up a little bit closer to the microphone and have it, like, right at my face, so, um... I will bring up the levels as well. I have I was told that in my previous video I should speak up, so I'm trying to do that now. <laughs> um, if you hear any noises in the background, I'm sorry. There's construction going on outside, and no matter how much I close up the windows and everything else, it's still loud as balls outside. Um, in any case, uh, let's just keep going with this video. Um, so. I noticed that uh, a lot of people on my Twitter, a lot of artists that I follow on my Twitter, are um, basically they make a living off of fan art, and um, then there are others who kind of look down on that and say that you know you shouldn't make f money out of fan art, and um, you just do shouldn't do fan art in general, and blah blah blah. Um, where you know I can see where they're coming from. Uh, I still don't think that it's 100% true. I mean, you know, fan art, fan art is, uh, it's nice. It's, ni it's nice to have fan art. It's ni nice to get fan art. Um, so, you know, if you stop making fan art, you're just gonna basically tell creators that you don't really like their work enough to, you know, create, uh, gifts for them or, and stuff like that. That's, that's how I feel. Um, now, when it comes to making a profit off of fan art, um, that's kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of a, a weird subject. Because on one hand, um, yeah, you'll, you'll probably make a lot of money selling fan art because, you know, people are looking for merchandise of certain animes, games, comics, video games, all that stuff. Did I say video games already? I don't know. Um, but... You know, people are looking for merchandise of that, and sometimes the only way that they can find merchandise of that is through fan art. And, um, you know, uh, there, uh, the, the gray area that, that I'm talking about is, um, say, say you start selling, like, there's a difference between you making fan art for, uh, a, like, franchise already if that makes any sense versus an indie thing you know like for for as an example i'm just gonna throw this out um as two different examples and i'm gonna use video games for this so say you know table a is selling merchandise of let's say near i'm drawing near right now they're, so, they're selling merchandise of Nier uh, that they drew themselves. Nier is not an indie game. Um, it's a smaller game because not a lot of people play it, unfortunately, and, and you should. It's, it's a pretty good game. Um, but it's okay because it's, it's a franchise and you can find merchandise of it everywhere else. But, you know, it's, it's, it's fine because you're, you're selling... You're not going to hurt their profits, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, whereas, take something like, uh, I don't want to say Undertale because Undertale is big now, um, but take something of an indie brand like um, One Shot. Has anybody played One Shot? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people have played that game. And it's a very short game. It has that kind of same feel as Undertale. Um, not the same kind of gameplay at all. Like it's it's more like a Yumaniki kind of uh, game where it's like puzzles and well, actually no, Yumaniki is a bad example for that too. You should look up uh, One Shot and play it yourself and see what I'm talking about. And it's a very it's a very small indie game. Um, and, you know, if it suddenly became popular, but it still didn't have that big name to back it up, like Undertale, it started off like that, and Toby Fox pretty much said, hey, please don't sell, you know, merchandise with our stuff, because we're still trying to get our own merchandise out there. And that's totally fine, like, you know, respect the, the creator, and don't make 
a crap ton of Undertale prints and then make a profit off of it because like they were they were trying to they were trying to get out there. It's the same thing with one shot. Like if, if one shot suddenly became like super popular online and like nobody like the creators were like barely making any money off of their like ten dollar or whatever however much it was on Steam profit like you know not everybody's gonna buy the game but they're gonna watch let's plays of it they're gonna buy merchandise of it and where are the creators getting profit off of see that's the thing like a lot of people who like undertale actually never played the game they just like it because they watched let's plays and they enjoyed the character interaction and stuff like that so when undertale was starting there wasn't really a whole lot to back it up there was just um you know the game was just thrown out there because he, he, Toby Fox was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna make a game, I'm gonna just throw it out there. And that's what happened. He just threw it out there and it became popular throughout the, the internet crowd. Um, and it, you know, it was, it was, it was like the perfect timing because it was like in between, like, I believe, um, it was like in between when, uh, Steven Universe, like, just just ended a season and they were gonna throw a Steven bomb, like, months later. And also, uh, Homestuck was over or something. I don't know. I don't follow Homestuck at all. But like it was like in that in that in between where there was just like this void that everybody needed to fill on the internet and Undertale showed up and it just like blew up. But like you know, because of that, like a lot of uh, a lot of flats plays came out, a lot of fan art came out and all that. But when you think about it, where are they gonna make their money from? Uh just uh, the sales right well if you're just watching it and you're making fan art off of it and then making profit off of it where are they going to get profit off of you know whereas something like final fantasy that's been an established you know franchise and yeah you can totally just make fan art of it because they're like they're making bank they're they're not going to suffer from you know one artist making prints and like selling it at a convention or something or, or, or acrylic charms or whatever and selling it you know online it's it, that's 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 how I interpreted um, the difference between the two uh, like you you can make fan art um, of whatever like you can you can even make fan art of, of like short stories online or you know novels or, or even like web comics or whatever but unless they are from like an established franchise like a company made this I would probably refrain from selling merchandise off of it unless they have their own merch out and are already established enough that they are already making a profit you know what I mean I hope that you know what I'm, what I'm saying is making sense um I, I have heard a lot of artists talk about this too and like you know there's there's a lot of fear that uh, you know if if I make fan art that I'm selling out and whatever um, and you know that's yeah <laughs> but that's also how people get noticed you you get noticed by making fan art of something that's already popular um, now whether you want to sell said fan art as a print or whatever you really have to think about like okay is this is this okay to sell as a print like can I make a profit off of this image and um you know it's it's uh it's really tough because well, actually it's not even that tough just think about it like if if it, it if you're making fan art of something that's well known, then fuck it, sell it. I don't care. Like, <laughs> like if suddenly I, I, one of my stories became like, you know, well known and and on TV or something, shoot, make as much fan art as you want. I don't care. It just makes me happy that you like my product enough to you know draw pictures of it. If you're making profit off of it and I'm not making profit off of it, then I'll have a problem because um. Well, this is my creation. Why are you making money off of it and I'm not? You know what I'm saying? I hope I hope I'm making myself clear. Anyway, um, this will be a shorter video than usual. I, I usually make these like 15 minutes long, but I'm gonna try and cut it here around the 10 minute mark. And um, cause really that's that's all I, I had to say about the subject. Um, 
But uh, if you guys have any other questions or uh, any topics that you would like me to cover, um, uh, again, it, it'll probably have to be on digital art and uh, anime and video games and all that crap. Because <laughs> that's, that's all that I, you know, do. Because I, I don't really do a whole lot of traditional stuff unless I'm at a convention or, you know, I have my sketchbook and, and feel like drawing in it. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching again. Uh, if you guys uh, would like to leave a comment down below with any questions or tell me how you feel about this situation too, this whole topic of fan art, not fan art, and all that stuff, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. I want to, you know, engage with everybody as much as I can. Um, I, you know, I, I don't really have that many people engaging with me right now, and I would really like for that to change. Um, anyways, have a great day, guys, and remember, as I say in every video, just do what you like to do. Don't let anybody bring you down. Just pick up that pencil and draw if you feel like drawing, and if you want to learn how to draw, just do it. Just pick up the pencil and, and practice. Practice, practice, practice. Um, anyways, yeah, have a great day, guys. Bye.